Welcome to Women Lead TV, brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Michelle Beauchamp, your host for today's show called Crossing Bridges. My company is The Champ Group, and I am the executive director of the John Maxwell team. I'm excited to welcome our host, our guest today, Jackie Olivier, also known as Jackie O. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Jackie, thank you so much for being here. Glad we, to be here. We have a great show today, and Jackie is the founder and owner of Moxie. And so you see these wonderful products displayed on the table here. So Jackie, let's start off by helping our audience understand what are these amazing products that you have on display here today? Okay, sure, I'm happy to, to explain. At a basic level, Moxie Essential Care mm -hmm. is a uniquely handcrafted collection of natural bath and body products. Mm -hmm. um, they are designed to gently cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize, and protect your skin. Um, I create and formulate with botanicals, plant butters, and pure essential oils. But for more than that, and this is where it gets exciting, Okay, Moxie is a clarion call. Mostly to women, I call us north of 40. Okay, I fit that. Believe in the power of unapologetic self care. Say that again. It's a clarion call. Moxie is a clarion call. Okay. To women north of 40 to believe in the power of unapologetic self care. It is a daily reminder to find your balance, to live in your flow, to celebrate your journey through midlife, into midlife, and beyond, and to embrace your wisdom. That was a mouthful. <laughs> I so it's it. not just soap, right? It ain't just soap. You have it on your website. Yes. It ain't yes. just soap. Right. Exactly. It started out as with bars of soap, mm -hmm. um, expanded to the other products of scrubs and creams and balms, mm -hmm. but it also took on a different meaning. So it was not just get clean. Okay. And wasn't just get clean with safe ingredients. Okay. It was you know what, when we clean and moisturize and protect, we're doing rituals of self-care and there's so much power in self-care uh -huh. and, and what it does uh, for our, our well-being. It's mind, body, whole body skincare. Whole body skincare. Yes. And I love that you said it's unapologetic. Yes. So what that means to me and to the audience out there is, it is not only okay, but it is a good thing and important for us to take time out to take care of ourselves. And your products help us do that. And audience, can I just tell you that it smells so good in here because <laughs> the product smells so good. So Jackie, help us understand what made you decide to do this? You and your husband, Mark, have run a business together for many years. How many years? It's 20 years now. Whoa, 20 years, you and your husband. Yes. And yet you had a yearning to do something else. Right. And so tell us about that. What what was going on that made you say, you know, this is going well, but I kind of want to do something else. Well, on my roots, I'm a journeyer, wanderer, explorer. So oh, okay. this is kind of a chapter three in my life. I My background is in architecture and real estate. And then my first chapter, I was working with people to create, rebuild community and develop uh, mixed income housing. I moved on from there to, um, create innovative workspaces uh, for corporations that were pulling together technology. It was the front edge of the dot-com era mm -hmm. uh, with people and technology. And as I moved from East Coast to the West Coast, I kept mm -hmm. translating who I, what I was doing. Okay. The thread about that is me being a creator, me being an explorer, me loving um, to work with make things and to work with colors and light and fragrance. The soap came up almost accidentally, but serendipitously yeah. as, um, as a, as a uh, option for me um, after my chapter two of doing the business with Mark. So okay. it came spontaneously um, and I was captivated by what it takes to make soap. Okay, what, what captivated? Just, what, I mean, just the, just the ingredients, it's like cooking. Okay. Oh, okay. You smell it, you feel it. Mm. You can't quite taste it, but you can you can embody the oh, ingredients okay. of natural ingredient products. And at, at the, in the beginning, it was like, oh, I'm making <coughs> soap, and that's really good. It's tactile, I can feel, I can do something. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit like the pottery that I used to do as well. So those are, those are the kind of threads that we're going through. Over time, it evolved into, wait a minute, this is more than just making soap. This is 
finding space for yourself, mm -hmm. you know, in our private rituals of, of personal care, um, we can get more out of it. And so it was sort of small moments at create big results kind of thing. It was okay. a revelation mm -hmm. over good. time. Small moments create big results. We need to remember that. Yeah, and 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 then more started to come forth for me as I was clearly becoming a middle-aged woman um, okay. <laughs> and embracing that, but also understanding that that's a change. There's a there's a kind of reflection that happens at that time that's different than the years before, and I wanted to celebrate that and do something that would help promote a sense of strength and empowerment in women like me and not like me, but we're all, you know, there's there's a, a, a thread there that's common to all of us. Okay. Yeah. Jackie, I've been knowing you for a long time, <laughs> and I just learned some new things about you. Oh. I love the diversity that you have and that you've been willing to experience. You said that you are a journeyer, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's so important because in business, we, we have to go on journeys, and we have peaks, and we have valleys. And so what I want to help have you share our audience, because there are some people who are watching, mm -hmm. and they're thinking about doing something, mm -hmm. but they're just thinking about it. And what you mm -hmm. did was you felt it, and you did it. And now you're in the midst of it. So what lessons have you learned from the beginning that can help other people who are in the idea stage, like mm -hmm. I like doing this. I mean, mm -hmm. like I never knew you did pottery, so I think that's really cool. So people who are trying to figure out what it is they can do, take their passion and turn it into a business for profit, that's awesome. But what, what have some of the lessons been that you've learned, Jackie? Um, and they keep unfolding. You okay? <laughs> right, right. They continue. Right. Part of it was, and I, mean, I have to say, first off, I'm the accidental entrepreneur. Okay. Okay. So this is not like I was born to okay. be wild. <laughs> you in this just way. didn't always know this is what yeah. I'm gonna be. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, but at some level, I think the thing I learned is that you have to trust in yourself. Mm. Okay. It's 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 there is something about doing this that has always felt like. I needed to do it, that it was for me. So so, so there were times when I had to set aside the concept of business for profit, because that's the mm -hmm. scary part that mm -hmm. can get in the way. Okay. Because you don't really know like, well, I, it, am I gonna make a profit? How fast am I gonna make a profit? Right. It, you, you can get cluttered and that's that can be an overwhelm. And it could stop you. Right, Okay. right. So, so I certainly think about those things, but I also have to forget about those things. Okay. And trust that if I'm doing something that feels right and has enough in it for me to get my arms around and mm -hmm. always be interested, that as I'm doing it, if I'm putting together something of value okay. to others, mm -hmm. that value, I will see that value come back to me. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm still on the path to getting there, mm -hmm. and it's a path that doesn't ever end. Um, but I think the lesson is that you have to believe that if you think it and want it, then it's the thing to do. Okay. I think that's a good lesson. And so this program is called Crossing Bridges. Mm -hmm. So one bridge that you cross, it sounds to me, is that you recognize the value of profit, but what you recognize and are passionate about even more mm -hmm. is understanding that when you have a product, which you have some wonderful products here, that you're creating value. And because of that, when you stay focused on that, the profit will come. Yeah, and I, I mean, I started out, I made some things, I needed to get it out there. So I did the, you know, the the, the path of sign up for and get, you know, into farmer's markets or to mm -hmm. events where you can stand there and see what people think. Uh -huh. And and I got enough over time, got enough feedback and got feedback from stores um, that there was something there. So, my, so I, I had a, a small customer Right, feedback system right. Um, right. that told me that it, it, the hard part is that it's, it can be very complicated to put together, you know, all of the elements of you know what are the ingredients, what what is this thing that you're making, and where do you get, how do you package it, and how do you tell people about it? That's, right, that's 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 the ongoing challenge, particularly in a crowded um, industry like this. Right, I've always been impressed that you were willing to that dive deep into the business where there are a lot of products similar, but they're different. And that's what you said. And let's talk about that. Okay. How did you come about identifying 
things like the branding. I mean, you came, you know that it's the woman who is north of 40, and mm -hmm. so you did a good job on clarifying your target audience, which I think is so key because we can't serve everybody. I right. mean, I realize that in my business. Right. I can't say, well, everybody needs what I have. Well, okay, but who? <laughs> let's hone in on that, and yeah. you've been able to hone in yeah. on that. So how did you how did you do that? Hone in on that, and then um, to tie in with that, your packaging is you you put a lot of thought and you did a lot of research on the packaging, which looks really nice. It looks like the 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 image that you want to present. So help us understand what 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 did you do to to make that happen? So I I sought the help of others. <laughs> How smart is that? Okay. So I did. I, I I went to score. Smart. I had okay. um, a coach there for a while. Um, I I went to others who um, were expert or had knowledge about branding, about packaging, about these graphic designers, about these branding experts. Okay. And, and I put, but I had to along the way. The things, kind of things I've learned is that you don't just hand over. Stuff mm. to people and expect them to give you the answers. It's it's really an integrated effort, and you okay. have to give them enough understanding of what's what you're thinking, where you're going, what you're going for, and it starts to uncover itself. So it was not all like overnight. I came up with this or okay. overnight. I mean, unapologetic self care was just the last couple of years. Oh, okay, and it was an evolution of I can make soap. Everybody uses soap, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I can sell soap to somebody, okay. right? Because everybody uses soap, and it's right. really good because they use it every day. Right. So hopefully, so, you know, kind of thing. Right, right, right. So you like that doesn't really cut it. To I can make soap. I'm using good ingredients. I like that. That comes from me. Um, I use essential oils. That comes from me because I'm a, you know, the the, the fragrance part of it, the aromatherapeutic piece of it is important. And so it was. I can sell products to people who appreciate. You know, uh, clean natural products. Well, that's a really crowded segment of, mm -hmm, of the mm -hmm, industry, mm -hmm. and even that, you have to go deeper. And over time, I understood that it really was about how the brand connects to people, what the story is, mm -hmm. um, and I started to feel okay about mm -hmm. using me as my story. Oh, so oh. I am that middle-aged woman, okay, who's at the crossword roads of <coughs> of career choices, identity. Mm -hmm. um, uh, challenges, competing demands, mm -hmm. and I and I represent a lot of women who are going through the same. So I can they trust. Take. Yes, I can trust that that what I detect from my customers and what I feel from myself are legitimate uh, parts of what I can embed in my brand. Okay, and that makes it so believable. I think because you're saying, well, the same people who I'm marketing to, that's me. You know, it, I could have chosen to, to create a brand for men. I could have chosen to create a brand for kids, for pets. I mean, that may be the future of Those might be some next steps. Gross, yeah, yeah, but right now, I mean, part of the thing that I did learn from one of my coaches is that as a small business starting out, we don't have the resources to go after multiple segments. Okay, so, so it's start. not it's not as if Moxie isn't good for other people. Right. My resources are such that I can target an ideal a target customer base that I can get my arms around. Yeah. Well, and see, that's how I can be effective. Well, I think that's so smart because again, people who are watching are trying to think, how can I start? Uh -huh. And one thing you just said was you had coaches, mm -hmm. you had partnerships. You didn't just say, here's what I want, go for it and bring me back the product that I love. Instead, you recognize that it's your business, it's your product. You, in fact, are making it. So you have to be involved with them. And I think that's a good lesson yeah. for people yeah. to learn. They're the ones that have the tools to interpret what you want to do. Okay. Not to tell you what you should do. Okay. I mean, you could, some could tell you what you should do, and you may end up in the right or wrong place. But okay. I think I learned the hard way uh, in some cases that I needed to actually put more into, I needed to give them something to work with. Okay. I needed to give them, um, and so it's an evolution. It's not, it wasn't an overnight kind of, establishment of what I am today. How many years would you say you've been in business? How long has Matt Moxie been around? And, and, and you know, one thing I want you to talk about for a minute is you've, you've, you've started it, you've grown it, and then there was a particular event that planted the seed in your mind that, yes, I'm ready. So I started making soap 12, 13 years ago as a 
let me do this. A hobby. A hobby. Okay. And I was also doing it in the context of what am I doing with my life? Mm, okay. Like what, you know, like what's really going on here? Kids are growing up. Yeah, they were still okay, and they were growing <coughs> upish, and but I was still yeah, and I but I felt like I was aging. You know, like okay. you know, what am I doing? I, I, I flipped out of my chapter one, and, and I was in the middle of chapter two, and I was like, well, is this really a two two chapter book? Okay. okay. And I hadn't okay. really been using that language um, back then, but that was what was going on. So, um, so I I'm, I'm trying to. Re I put together because um, you mentioned the RW. Yes, 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 yes. So I had an opportunity. So, so some of this is being opportunistic. Oh, so oh, it needs to be opportunistic. Yes, yes, take the chance. So I had the opportunity. I was working. I was with somebody who was working on a committee to create the gifts bags for VIPs at an RW event. And I said, yeah, I make so. So RW is Remarkable Women. Right, which is sponsored by an organization called NAVO. Right, in Orange County. And and so one thing led to another, I delivered so I had to get my act together that was <laughs> said that it was more than just a bar of soaps that were being brought to the bag. Okay. And I, I developed my first round of packaging. Um, I worked very hard on what is this you know company, I'm creating a company essentially, what's right. the name? Uh, Moxie <laughs> came through after okay. you know a lot of research as to what was potentially available. Moxie is the one that felt like it's not, this is not about soap. And what does Moxie mean? And Moxie means having determination, chutzpah, positive spirit, Okay, and the ability to just maintain, you know, through thick and thin. That's fun. Yeah, and on your website, you talk about seize the moment. Seize the moment. Yes, that was a big part of starting and staying. Okay, and there's being, a difference. Right? Starting and staying. Yes. Okay. So you seize the moment. You go. Mm, I'm going to do this. Okay. Um, seize the moment in the face of like I'm not sure I could do this. No, I can do this. Okay. Seize the moment. Okay. Using the products. So the doubt comes, but then you yeah. remember the purpose, remember your why. Yes. And then you keep moving forward. Right. Okay. Right. And for me it was important to do something that was in that reflected me. I okay. needed that. You needed that. Okay. Yes. Because you said your kids were getting older, who am I? What chapter am I in? Is there gonna be a chapter three? If so, what's it look like, feel like? Mm -hmm. So Jackie, one other thing I want to ask you about too, sure. two other things. So the first one is on your website, what I like, it talks about staying in the flow, and I heard you say that today. Mm -hmm. And so when you go through your peaks and valleys, what keeps you, and you're busy, because you do production, marketing, branding, I am amazed that you do it all. You and I had the opportunity a couple years ago to do 39 mile walk for Avon. Yes. And so we did a lot of training together and a lot of walking together. Right. I don't know how you had time to do all that. But how, so how did you stay in the flow and how do you stay so in the So I flow? move in and out of the flow. <laughs> <laughs> I try to walk the time. I mean, this is a challenge for me as well to, uh -huh. to, to believe in the power of, I apologize. Uh, okay. okay. So, um, and part of how Moxie has evolved, it's been incubated a lot. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I call it crock pot cooking versus microwave. <laughs> there so you go. So it'll be super delicious. Uh -huh. um, and I have to, Remind myself that I'm not in a race against Ooh. whomever I want to compare myself to. That's good. And that somehow I'm going to move through this the way I need to move through this, and Moxie's going to evolve and present itself in all its glory the way it should. I believe that. Jackie, people want to know where can they get this product? I love it. It smells so good. I love all your fragrances. You know I love the rosemary lavender, the eucalyptus, the lemongrass. She has such good fragrances. And her lotion, by the way, Jackie, it's nice because it's thicker. Some lotions are too thin. Yours yes, has a good yes. texture. So I would so, call the body cream. Yes, yes, <laughs> cream, right, because it's not thin. And the scrub, so everything that you have there is awesome. Thank you. And, and other people want to know how they can get it. Okay, Moxie is online at Moxie. M O X X I E soap.com. Say that again. Moxie, M O X X I E soap.com. Moxie soap.com. Okay. So, Jackie, is there anything? What's the next bridge for you to cross? Um, the next bridge, our next challenge is scaling. Okay. Scaling, um, expanding our distribution. We are in stores across the country. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that's been a real interesting journey <laughs> and continues to be and um, we want to grow more online um, uh, 
and so so that at co-expansion scaling piece okay so scaling is the next yes. bridge across yep. so moxie m-o-x-x-i-e soap.com yes jackie thank you so much for thank saying you yes. for having me thank you for being our leading lady thank today you. we will see you next time on the connect on this program brought to you by connected women of influence women lead tv see you next time Thank <music> you.